let's get to the, the dumbest theory. Now I've heard a lot of Michael Jackson theories, a lot, some, some plausible, some pretty good. I'm still standing on my theory that Michael is not dead. My theory is that Michael made a deal to give up everything and to walk away scot-free. That is my, that's my theory. And no one's going to talk me out of it. This is the dumbest theory. Hands down. People will say anything on the internet. Now, some, explain to me how some old gang banger would have this information. Okay. Well, let me in comments, comments. Okay. All right. Let, yeah, let's get to this. This is the dumb, hands down the thumbest, dumbest theory, dumbest Michael Jackson theory ever. Let's go. The Taylor took Michael Jackson to the party. Okay. In some kind of way, in the party, it was induced in Michael Jackson OD. Really? In 1979? 1979. So you. He's saying this. He's saying Michael Jackson OD'd in 1979 at a party that Elizabeth Taylor took him to. Once again, people will say anything on the internet. My theory, I still hold firm to it that Michael is not dead. He just made a deal to give up everything to walk away scot-free. But that's my theory. This is the dumbest theory I've ever heard. Let's go. You're saying did he, did he pass away in 1979? So I wasn't there. Okay. I'm tell you what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Alleg okay. You said he wasn't there. You're going to go with what you were told allegedly. Now you already know this is cat, but let's for entertainment purposes. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen to how dumb this theory is. Allegedly, allegedly Michael Jackson was deceased in 1979. When Las Vegas found out about it, they said they could not have a pop icon die in Las Vegas. They had just lost the R and B King Elvis Presley. Las Vegas, but Las Vegas wouldn't. Since when did this Las Vegas, Las Vegas runs the betting booking. Las Vegas has nothing to do with musical artists. And I believe at the time Michael was signed to CBS records. So that would be whoever's the CEO of CBS records at the time. That's his call. This has nothing to do with Las Vegas and Elvis dying. And at the age of 42, basically off of drugs has, this is stupid, but come on. I, I, I let, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Talk one-on-one, one -on -one. Yeah, we gonna talk. <laughs> I gotta ask you something and, and, and I was thinking about it. Michael Jackson, what's, when, when Michael Jackson died. Man, you go get in the mic. <laughs> I gotta go in the mic. Like, what did you think about it when he died? Well, let me say this. And I've expressed this to you before, and I'll give you a theory that a man gave me. One of my homeboys was one of the first black, black light men in Las Vegas. Okay. And he worked with Ben Vereen, Bill Cosby. When they did the uh, Michael Jack the Jackson Review, he was on the detail, and he ran with the family all while he was there. Now, we have an old white woman named Elizabeth Taylor. Been a pedophile, hanging out with Mike ever since that. If it was, Hold on, Elizabeth Taylor was what? A pedophile that hung out with Michael. J uh, Mike okay. I mean, listen, are you not entertained by an old gang member that has the haircut of a 25 year old that has a, I guess, a gold diamond in his tooth? Hey, or a diamond, hey, whatever, man, whatever floats y'all boat. Michael Jackson. Why you call her a pedophile? The old ass woman carrying a little black kid around. Uh, what was she doing? You don't know what she was doing with that child? Okay. Was you there? I, I, I don't know what a pedophile does with children, but <laughs> it didn't look right to you. For this man is in his sixties and has the haircut of a twenty-five-year-old NBA player. But okay, come on. A child I mean, be with, a, <coughs> with her like that. I mean, a white woman. She probably trying to give him a better life. Okay, thank you very much, Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> you, didn't he have a daddy and a mama and sisters? Right, and they was all black. So how did this white woman? Bring her. But he had Diana Ross, he had Gladys Knight, he had the Marvelettes, he had Porky Pig. What did he need her for? 
she was older and she was well established. Oh, established. In the, yes. She was just an old rich white woman. Uh, that had a lot of pull. She didn't go to get uh, uh, Opie from uh, 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 Mayberry, did she? She didn't get Beaver Cleaver from the Beaver family. Where in there? Why, if she look, if she's messing with little little boys, why didn't she go get a little white boy? So she had been dealing with Michael ever since he was very young. How, I don't know about all that. How old was he? When do you think? How young was he? I, I don't think remember. She started messing with Michael when he was about fourteen or fifteen. Wow. They was going out to to dates and going to the movies. Yeah, I could have I could have swore Diana Ross had her way with Michael when he was a little older, but somehow we skip all that we just go with elizabeth taylor but then you kind of you would have to erase his whole interactions and dealings with diana ross when he was little and when he was older hey but what do i know i'm i'm entertained by this foolishness let's go when you was 14 and 15 what's the oldest woman you ever messed with uh Old people give you worms. I ain't never seen an old boy. <laughs> Shit, 14 or 15, I was in juvenile hall. I went to prison at 17. I'm, I'm young masturbator. <laughs> the first time I had sex butt naked, I was 26 years old, baby. So I, sex, me and my hand is just like a man. So no, 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 no. So, I, so, I, I, I ain't in it like that. So I, when you think about her dealing with Mike at that age and them hanging out, parties going on, he's young, they, they're having the time of their life. She having a time of her life, so it, it, it says it's apparently, really and I, I really like to get you the statistics of it, and we can say this, and I want to show you the transformation and how the change of Michael Jackson took place. Okay. It was, it was said to me in 1970. This was said to him, y'all. He wasn't there. <laughs> this was said to him. Okay, <laughs> come on. 79, Wayne Newton gave a, gave a party. I don't know if it was a birthday party, a freak party, or whatever kind of party it was. It was given. It was explained to me that Elizabeth Taylor took Michael Jackson to the party. Okay. In some kind of way, in the party, it was induced in Michael Jackson OD. Really? In 1979? 1979. So you saying did he did he pass away in 1979? So I wasn't there. Okay. Let me tell you what I heard. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, come on. We said allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, Michael Jackson was deceased in 1979. When Las Vegas found out about it. They said they could not have a pop icon die in Las Vegas. They had just lost the R&B king, Elvis Presley. 19 Las Vegas does not... Come on, let's go. 1977. Matter of fact, Walter Yetnikoff, right? Somebody fact check me. Was, was not Walter Yetnikoff the, the CEO of CBS Records that had initially signed Michael uh, when he put out off the wall please fact check me make sure i'm correct or if not if i'm if i'm not correct give me the right information i could have swore it was walter yetnikoff but what do i know let's continue they said it would be bad business so i understood they went to the jackson family and told them what happened and that you got other sons if we say this about michael and it, it'll ruin you you'll be back in gary indiana allegedly all of a sudden in 1979, he's doing a commercial and a fire happened and his hair caught on fire. Now, they should have ended this conversation right here because we all knew this took place in 1984. Get this old decrepit gangbanger with a haircut of a 25 year old with a diamond in his tooth, the fuck out of here. Now, these two goofballs should have said, no, 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 no. We all remember the Pepsi commercial. We all remember the behind the scene. Come on, let, you know what? Let's take a trip down memory lane. This nigga said 1979, his hair caught on fire. The Jerry curl wasn't, the Jerry curl didn't come out. I got time. Let's go watch the footage of Michael Jackson's hair catching on fire. Michael Jackson's hair catching on fire it's ho horrific it's horrific it's horrific dun, 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 dun. come on with these damn ads come on now this is this it this is it okay come on with these ads it's horrific watching this man's hair catch on fire because it burned for a good minute before anybody noticed anything.
Matter of fact, it was nothing but smoke coming out of the top of his head, if I remember correctly. This is 1984, but okay. Old gang bang, gang, old gang maker bangers no no more, I guess. Oh. And there it goes. Woo! Shit. Look how long that shit burned for. His entire head was engulfed. He didn't even realize the pain didn't kick in until he got down to the stage. The pain from the burns didn't even kick in. He was so hyped off adrenaline because he's performing. Watch how long he's... Hey, 1984, y'all. 1984. Let's count and see how long, how many seconds it, it took for him to realize his shit was on fire before the pain kicked in. Okay, fireworks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, damn near 10 seconds. Damn near 10 seconds. Homie, this was in front of a goddamn audience for a Pepsi commercial. Did y'all see how, when he, when he did the spin, look, his hair's on fire. 1984. Ooh, that looks painful. Okay. That looks extremely painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. right. <laughs> ah, come on, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's, let's this old this old gangbanger urban urban legend. Was that in 79? That was in the 80s. Right? In 79, his hair caught on fire? 1979, the Pepsi commercial. Wow. Come on. So he was all y'all can't be this stupid. Y'all cannot be this. They couldn't be this stupid. They can't, please tell me they're not this stupid. It's not even it's not even being ignorant at this point. Now you're just being stupid because we are we were all little kids when this thing happened. And hibernation rehabilitating. So they they said that they had lookalikes because they were recreating a Michael Jackson and making a clone. Wow. In 1982, his first album after 79 you remember what that album was it went off the wall what was it it was thriller <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, uh, thriller came out in 84 you know what come on let's take a look thriller album let's just take a look i i could have swore it was it had to have been 84 because mtv at that time was you know what let me just stop album year oh it, my bad y'all 1982 1982 november 29th he's still off he's still off he's still off he's still off Matter of fact, when did Thriller video premiere? When did Thriller, there we go. Thriller video. The video came out December 2nd, 1983. Now it makes sense because it took a minute for this album. <laughs> Cause remember, first single was, was it either Beat It or Billie Jean. <laughs> Walter Yetnikoff had to threaten to pull all of the artists from his label from MTV for it to get rotation. It took a, a minute for Thriller to pop. It, it, it was a slow burn. Nah, nah. His numbers are still off. This old nigga is capping. This old man is capping. See you over getting cracked off early. Thank you for the two on the super chat. This dude looks just as dumb as Roly Poly Mar. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Renzo getting it started. Yes, Walter Yetnikov, president of CBS Records from 1971 to 1975. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Yes, Walter Yetnikov. Okay. Okay.
So now that we we all know what we're talking about. We were kids when this all came out. Come on, let's continue. <laughs> let's, let's continue with this foolishness. <laughs> Matter of fact, a lot of us didn't know about the Thriller album until Thriller came out. First, first, first singles, Beat It Billie Jean. But when Thriller came out, that's when everybody's like, oh, this album, this album. It wasn't until Thriller that, and then they had the video for it. Because matter of fact, we we came in the house early. Matter of fact, MTV premiered. It, it had video premieres for this thing at night at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, everybody was at home in front of the TV waiting to watch Thriller. Back in the day, remember, remember when they had video premieres, it used to be a big deal to premiere a, a video. This old nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He was working in the dark. Okay. Thriller is about a zombie coming up out of the graveyard. Michael Jackson's family was devout Jehovah Witnesses. They didn't believe in graveyards. They didn't believe. So the, the, the Jehovah Witness Church said they was barring the Jacksons away if they brought out that album. Allegedly, white America paid them $700,000 to let Miss Jackson be in and the Thriller album mm. came out. Y'all hear this? Are y'all hearing this? You've never heard these stories before. Listen, we've, we have all, and I mean, we as a collective, we've heard every Michael Jackson theory, um, uh, shady deal, backstory, Studio 54 nonsense. We, we pretty much know everything Michael in, in engaged in, in his lifespan. No one ever said no dumbass shit like this. This is the most over the top, sensational piece of cap. <laughs> And these two idiots are too dumb to check this man and say, nah, dude, your numbers are off, sir. <laughs> but I get it. Come on. Michael Jackson coming out the grave. But he never came out. It, it, it was literally like a transitional scene. And then all of a sudden, because it was a nightmare. If I, if I remember correctly, it was a nightmare. No, no. They were at the movie theaters. They were at the movie theater. Him and Ola, they went to go see a zombie movie. Um, and then that towards the end, right? That he was the werewolf chasing her. It was a werewolf movie, and he was chasing her through the. He was a werewolf. At the very end, the eyes flash. Yeah. Do we need to watch it? Do we need to watch Thriller, man? You know what? Can I get away with just just showing the visual? Can I get away with just showing the visual? Can I get away with just showing the visual? I don't want to. Okay. Can we just get away with the visual? Okay. They, right. This is what this is the movie they're watching. He turns into a wolf, man. This is the movie they're watching. Get away! Wait, 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 wait. We got to play that part. We got to play that part. <laughs> all right turns into the wolf man turns into the wolf man he's chasing her now they're at the movies it's just a movie okay now they're walking home from thriller and then i don't recall i remember his dancers coming out the ground i don't remember michael coming out the ground but come on let's continue they're walking he's serenader thriller. okay okay now the dancers come out the grave they walk by the graveyard, the dancers pop out, cut scene, he's a zombie. You can't let these old heads get away with this nonsense, man. Can I let these old heads get away with this nonsense? The dancers come out the ground. Okay, and then you cut to Michael. Right, we cut to Michael. Cause they, they start to run away. Right. And she turns, here we go. So wh where does Michael come out the ground y'all? Cause by the time she turns around, he's a zombie when they do the cut, the cut scene. And here we go. 
So he ain't never come. <laughs> come on, man. Don't let these old heads get away with this revisionist history stuff. Don't let these old heads get away with these tall tales. Check these old heads. A zombie. What is that telling you? What they call subliminal seduction? Well, it's not the little Michael, it's the other <laughs> Michael now, right? So now we go on for 15 years. Now the weakest link in their family was LaToya. And when LaToya, they thought LaToya would ran out about what really happened to Michael. So amazingly in 1980, she marries an old mobster, 56 years old, to keep her quiet. And she was in seclusion for all that time with this old man. And the plot thickens. What the hell is subliminal? Now we go into 15 years of him having Pinkerton detectives, white people around. You can look from 1980 to 2005, and you'll never see Michael Jackson at one of the family functions. Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day. Okay, we all get that. They, there was a split, there was a division, but which has nothing to do with his telling of him being a clone and his numbers being so vastly off that it's not even funny, but he, let's play this game. Hey, and him and his mother was the closest thing. He was a mama's boy. Everybody else went. He said, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I got, I, I think I'm gonna bust that theory real quick. I think I'm gonna bust that theory real quick. And him and his mother was the closest thing. He was a mama's boy. Let's get to the year. He said, and the plot thickens. Now we go into 15 years of him having Pinkerton detected white people around. You can look from 1980 to 2005. 1980 to 2005 is 25 years, not 15 years. Fine. So let's do 1980 to 2005. You know how I bust that theory out? 2300 Jackson Street. 2300 Jackson Street. This was 2017. Street. And uh, that's where we moved in January of 1949. What are you talking about? No, 1950. Of January of 1950. He, he just and said he don't. He didn't. He didn't mess with the family. Two th what year was this again? <laughs> what year was this? Wait. <laughs> what year did that come out? I want to make sure I got this right. I'm sorry, 1989. Forgive me. Forgive me. Now he said from 1980 to 2005, he didn't mess with no family functions. Nigga, you shooting a video with your at your family home in Gary, Indiana in 1989. We had the victory tour in 1984. Right? The victory tours in 84 that was the tour that he got he injured got injured on right okay now let me do this now come on, let's get back to the video let's play the video real quick because i he said he did and i watched we the bought video, the little house on like, 2300 you know, like jackson street and uh um, okay wait wait Now I get it, it's a video shoot. Some of y'all gonna be like, "Let's start a video shoot." Listen, if Mike didn't, really, does this look like Mike didn't, didn't didn't get down with his family? Does this look like Mike didn't get down with his family? Remember when Mike uh, uh, Quincy wanted him to do? I think it was what what award show was it? Uh, what was it? Oh, the iconic award show that he did. He did a moonwalk, whatever the case. But the stipulation was, um. He wanted a solo performance. They were like, perform with your brothers. He said, I'll do it unless, uh, but you got to give me a solo performance. What, what was the Billboard, Billboard Awards that year? Right? Does this not look like he don't get down with his fan? This is 1989. 1989. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> don't let these old heads get away with this revisionist history. Telling these tall Paul Bunyan tales, the Paul Bunyan tales, and you got two idiots that are too dumb to. Ch you know what? Come on. And you'll never see Michael Jackson at one of the family functions, Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, and him and his mother was the closest thing. He was a mama's boy. Right. Club Fortune. Everybody Club else went. Three T. He managed three T. Three T blew up overseas, and Mike was one of the. What do you mean? 
Yo, 3T, like, everybody knows them Tito's kids, but that Mike did that. Those are Tito's kids, but Mike did that. Come on. Party, Michael never did. What are you talking so about? So now, after they come up and they induce this clone. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, this is OG Pyru Ayatollah, former old gang banger, gang, gang, gang banger member. Yeah, I don't know how these old gang bangers get all the information, like all the inside information. But this is the wildest story I've ever heard. <laughs> this is the wildest story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> 3T was huge. <laughs> huge when they induce the clone the clone can only last for 15 years i'm not a scientist but i heard right so michael supposedly amazingly had these two babies blanket and whatever the mm -hmm. other. so now yeah oh michael having kids a clone is just like a mule okay now that's a nice way to to kind of back up your, your clone claim but everybody knows and i believe even, even michael admitted the kids were not biologically his so there, there's your clone theory, bruh. Like, he even admitted those kids are not his biologically, but... Come on. He can't... He's, he's sterile, right? So now, all of this time... Now, when the battery's running out of Michael, they put up this big tour. The Michael Jackson around the world. We're gonna do this with Michael. Michael's dancing for this and that. And out of all the time they've been giving him this medication, it was all white doctors, huh? Then they get this Conrad Murray out of Houston, Texas a black physician that never made $150,000 in a year. And they paid him $150,000 a month to tend to Michael Jackson, right? Bring, when you need a scapegoat, go get a nigger, right? So now, next thing you know, all of the white uh, security, they done left the detail and they get the Nation of Islam. Make the blacks the fall guy. Now they start saying that Mike's a pedophile. He's doing stuff with children. Wow. Right? Now, all of a sudden, he overdoses. And it's Conrad Murray's fault? The doctors that gave it to him, they were never charged. No white people was ever charged in this, huh? Okay. Let your man go over with your life. We're going to give you four years. You get out and go on back to now, Houston. Once again, let me. this is where I, I had to reiterate my theory. This is where I, once again, my theory. I, good luck trying to bust a hole in my theory. Good luck trying to bust a hole in my theory. Now, here's the first version of Dave Dave. Inspirational story, and we're very blessed. David joins us today, and he insists he's not a victim. He's a survivor. David, please come join us. Once again, my theory. Uh, let me just, let's stop right there. Let's walk you back a little bit, sir. Everybody knows Michael was fairly tall. I, I believe Michael was listed at around 5'10-ish. Okay, you know what? Let's go back. How tall was Michael? Five. He's listed at five nine. He's listed at five nine. Okay. Okay. Now let's get to Dave. Dave on Larry King. Joining us now here in Los Angeles, Miko Brando, who was with us almost every night at Emily Pat's funeral. Yes, that's his name, Dave Dave. He Sirs and ma'ams, you're looking at two different versions of this Dave Dave character. Who, who, who is this little man? Who is this little man? Amazing. Looking good. Thank you, Hesley. That's not the same Dave Dave. Look how wide the shoulders are on this man. Don't fucking play with me. I dare anybody to try to bust a hole in my theory. You're welcome to try. You're welcome to try to bust a hole in my theory. By all means, have at it. Good luck with that. Good luck with trying to bust a hole in my theory. All right, okay. Now let's get back to the rest of OG Ayatollah's stupid story, urban legend. This is so damn silly. Houston, right? So now when the, the funeral takes place and we start doing this little research on Michael, 
Now it comes up, the, oh, I never had sex with Mike, it was in vitro fertilization. Now, all of a sudden, the doctor that supposed to did the in vitro fertilization said it wasn't Michael Jackson's sperm, it was his. Wow. Because them kids have no Jackson DNA in them. That's a fact. None of them. Yeah, one of them. Neither one of them have Jackson nothing in them. They just, they, they just oh, pretty much told a lie just to make it seem as if Michael had kids. Well, you think that America don't lie to you? Wow. <laughs> wow. I am, I'm tripping off of because it, it seems that they said he owned the Beatles catalog. and He all owned the Beatles catalog, all of that. But where is it? The Jacksons don't own it now. It all went back to white America. Oh, of course. The, okay, now you're telling us something we already know. Now you're trying to seem like, oh, I, nigga, stop. Because the first eight minutes of this bullshit ass urban legend you gave us was pure BS. The failed tour on him, I heard that they, I only heard. Here we go, I heard. You can research it yourself. So allegedly. Allegedly that they got $6 billion for his council tour. Wow. What did the family get out of that? His catalog, what did his mother, oh, they living good. But ain't nobody talking about it, huh? No, nah, everybody wow. quiet as hush hush. And the toy oh, came out when this happened. He's dropping truth bombs like I never heard before. Wow. Thank you, OG Ayatollah. We never knew this. Happened when this, she said in an interview, my brother been dead. Latoya came out and said it. My brother been dead. Joe said it too. Not in there, Johnny. What Biggie. interview did they say that in? Go research it. Y'all smart. I was just asking. I was I'm trying to figure out. See, I, I, I don't know. Dude, I, I couldn't do it. Cause I'd have been like, stop. Because I'd be on my phone right there, right next to him checking this shit. I, my laptop would be open up right next to him checking it. Like, nah, that, that, that's not what it says here. The white man's internet says this. The white man's internet says this. <laughs> Let's continue. If it was CBS, SBC, uh, but uh, Donovan, they may have just wiped it off the counter. Wow. But, and, 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 and they say she was hysterical, and she says that my brother's been dead. Mm. Joe even indicated it, and they start blackballing him. Okay. Once again, the, the, the dumbest urban legend, Michael Jackson urban legend I've ever heard, in my, and I've heard some weird ones, but this was by far the dumbest one. Somehow... Some old gangbanger with the haircut of a 25 year old with a gold, with a diamond tooth somehow has the deets was told to him. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you for telling us something. We, we obviously I didn't know.